or 888-971-SAGE. My guest is Dr. Kerry B. Strom. He is a gastroenterologist, associate professor of medicine at UCLA. We're taking your calls at 888-971-SAGE. Joe is in San Diego, California. Joe, you're on with Dr. Strom and Larry. Yeah, hi, hi, Larry. Thanks for taking my call. And I apologize for catching the last part of the conversation. It was a few minutes ago, but you ended it with something to the effect of the doctor, that is, uh, with what's the harm in wearing masks? And that kind of fooled me. Um, perhaps you're familiar with you know, think about the trauma it's causing people these people that are afraid to go outside, especially young kids. I see them with masks on. It drives me insane. And the fact that people are becoming more curt and coarse in society, right? You're no longer the individual. You're the mass individual. And I say nothing about the fact that how many people in the Middle East, women, are forced to wear masks. Uh, you know, I'm retired military, and I've been over there. I'm telling you, masks are doing more harm than good. In fact, the masks are doing no good whatsoever. And I wish people would point that out. Handkerchiefs and scarves are useless. And yet you see people all over the place wearing these masks, and they're absolutely and totally oh, Okay, useless. all right, all right, all right, Joe. Th- Joe, thank you for your service. Let's have Dr. Strom respond. Joe doesn't think masks do anything, doctor. Joe, I want to thank you for your service as well. Um, appreciate that. Well, I, I think masks do help, and um, certainly when, when they were thinking that these were all aerosolized droplets, masks definitely help. I mean, why wear a mask in surgery? Because they prevent infection. Look at I mean, we, we all have our own opinions on this. Most medical people, people that are experienced, would say masks do help. I mean, I suppose you can read anything. I would wear a mask, and I encourage people that I love to wear a mask. So, I mean, what is the downside of wearing a mask temporarily? I don't know. I don't, I don't see it to be as drastic. But, look, at if, this is, if these are really small viral particles and, and they're really not aerosolized, I suppose a mask may not help as much. But I, I would continue to wear it, and I'd recommend that to people. Dr. Strom, here is Dr. Fauci on 60 Minutes, March 8. Get your response to it on the other side. Right now in the United States... People should not be walking around with masks. You're sure of it? Because people are listening really no, closely to this. Right now, people should not be walking. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. When you're in the middle of an outbreak, wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better, and it might even block a, a droplet. But it's not providing the perfect protection that people think that it is. And often, there are unintended consequences. People keep fiddling with the mask and they keep touching their face. And can you get some schmutz sort of uh, staying uh, inside uh, there? Of course, <clears throat> of course. But when you think masks, you should think of health care providers needing them and people who are ill. Dr. Strom, now later on, Dr. Fauci said, well, he, uh, he benevolently misled the country because he didn't want there to be a run on these masks, and he wanted the uh, first-line health care providers to be able to get them. Uh, didn't want there to be a shortage. Right. So there is something in medicine that we review. It's called Morbidity Mortality Weekly Report, the W the MMWR. And there was a study of healthcare workers. Now I'm talking about people that are exposed to direct contacts. People that are wearing PPE, only six percent of those people that are constantly in contact with these people tested positive. So you tell me if they help or not. Mm-hmm. Randy is in Texas. Randy, you're on with Dr. Kerry Strom and Larry. Uh, hi, Larry. Um, thank you for taking my call, and I just love your show. You're my favorite uh, radio personality. Thank you. And uh, I have uh, something kind of to piggyback on the last caller. Uh, I, too, am retired military. I'm a retired Marine. Hoorah. First of all, hoorah. First of all, were there not nine studies prior to the COVID outbreak that the universally said that masks are unhelpful in the general public because of the way that they're worn and so forth? And then second of all, um, in my circles, all of the people I know who've contacted, who have con- contracted COVID are the people who have taken it the most seriously. Uh, the doctor said that he was not surprised that President Trump got COVID. But uh, like I said, in my circles, the people who wear the mask, you know, basically 24-7, wear it in their car driving, wear it, don't even leave the house um, unless they absolutely have to, you know, they take it extremely seriously, these are the people that end up getting COVID. Doctor, you have about uh, 55 seconds to sort of respond to that. Well, I don't know what studies you... Randy, right? Your name is Randy? Randy. Randy, yeah, thank you for your service as well. I don't know what studies you're talking about. 
I just quoted you a study from a reputable uh, publication, and these are all I can look at is people that are exposed. I mean, they do help. I would not, absolutely not, do any procedures on people uh, without wearing a mask, okay? I look at it a little bit differently. I don't see a major harm to it. I, I don't see the downside, really, of, mer of wearing it. Maybe it's stressful psychologically. And I do agree with you, people fiddle with their mask. They don't cover their nose, and they need to cover their nose because you can breathe those respiratory droplets into Dr. your nose as well. Doctor, we'll take a break real quickly right here. We come back. Joe from Temecula wants to ask you whether Trump was irresponsible. Dr. Strom, do not leave town. I'm Larry Elder.